guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shadi Marie. If you are new here, welcome. And from the title of the video, as you guys can tell, we are doing another get ready with me. I have another party to go to. I have another birthday party to go to. So again, I wanted to hop on camera and get ready with you guys. So if you want to get ready with me, then grab your makeup, grab your drink, grab a snack, and let's get ready together. <laughs> Alright guys, so first thing first, I'm always going to do my primer and lashes first. So for primer, I'm using two of them. I'm using my Hard Candy Primer along with my Touch and Soul Primer. I haven't used my Touch and Soul in a while, but my face does kind of feel a little irritated. And the Touch and Soul Primer has like a cooling effect. So yeah, I really like that. And of course the Hard Candy one because it has that uh, gripping property. So my makeup can stay up on all night because I am getting ready pretty early. So I wanna make sure my makeup looks good and stays on all day. Okay, and I'm actually going to set the primers, not with powder like uh, you normally would if you want to really stick your, um, make sure that your foundation and your face stay on all day. I'm actually going to spray my ColourPop setting spray before I do my brows. Just to give my skin a little bit more moisture and hydration so now we can move on to the eyes I'm taking my L'Oreal brow stylus pencil I ran out of the AOA one and I run it super low on my minted so this is basically the one I have left before I open up my holy grail eyebrow pencil which is the next one So eventually I was going to use the pencil to fill in everything, but I actually want to use my one of my pomades. I haven't used my pomade in a while. So I'm actually going to take the AOA Studio Wonder Brow. And this is in the color dark brown. It's been a minute, so it's kind of dried out, but I haven't used it in a while and I want to use it. And for me to get this uh, pomade back to being emollient, I'm just going to take some of this rose oil that I have over here and stick it in here. Just one little drop, one little drop like this. And then I'm just gonna mix it all together so it can get emollient. We're good to go. So now I'm just going to use my pomade. Now to clean up the brows, as you guys know, I'm taking at this moment my fave, my full coverage NYX concealer that I don't think they make anymore. I found mine at the beauty supply store years ago. I'm finally hitting pan on it. So when it's fully, fully gone, I'm gonna be sad because now I'm gonna have to find a new 
concealer to use for my under for my eyebrows. Okay, eyebrows are on, they look a tad bit darker than normal, but I can deal with it, I can deal with it. So, I'm actually going to work on the eyes first before we do the face, because like I've said in plenty of my videos, I usually take the longest to do my eyes because I want them to be perfect. So, I want to use these e.l.f. Um, eye strips because I think I'm going to go for like a very sharp and precise look today. Because again, it's a birthday, it's a celebration. I want to look my absolute best as much as possible. Can you focus? Thank you. They look even to y'all. They look even to me. When it comes to the eyes, the two palettes we're going to be using today is the Nomad by Juvia's Place. I haven't used this palette in a while, but this is the color scheme. And because I have this orange ginger red hair, not red, this orange ginger hair, then I want to add in a little bit of this orange here. Maybe some of these mustard colors. I'm not really sure and then the second palette which I'm going to be using it more for like the outer crease and transition colors is this minted everyday palette so that these are the colors here sorry you guys can see see that there we go these are the colors here so it's a very neutral palette that's good for people of my skin tone yeah we're going to be using those two palettes today and I'm also going to try to do a cut crease because I'm trying to go for a soft glam look sort of kind of so first thing first we're going to prime the eyes I'm using this AOA studio primer because again we want all of our stuff to stay on as long as possible Okay, so now I'm going to set the eyeshadow with this light color here using the same brush I just used to spread out the primer just so that our colors have something to adhere to. So I'm going to take this Morphe fluffy brush right here and I'm going to dip into the orange color here and use it as our transition and then also start buffing it out in the outer corners. Okay, I just felt like this eye was a little bit lighter in the transition than the other shade. So I'm using the same brush. I'm just wiping off the excess of that orange. 
And I'm going to dip into my everyday palette and dip into this chocolate brown down here and focus that more into the outer V but still make it as soft as possible. So I'm using a light hand. Alright, so we have the foundation down just a smidge. So now I'm trying to decide because I know I said I wanted to do a cut crease, but now I'm not so sure if I want to do a cut crease. However, I do not want to dip into this mustard yellow. So I'm going to take a smaller brush, something like this. Again, this is another Morphe brush. And I'm going to dip into this yellow here and focus that more on the lid and connect it to the outer corner. Yeah, that was a good decision. I like that. And then of course you can always go back in and deepen your outer corners if you feel like you lost too much when you added in your other color. So do just add some of that darkness back to the outer crease. Yep, this is perfect. Perfect. This is perfect. Hmm. So now for the inner corners. What? Well, not really the inner corners, but like the inside of the eyelid. What should we do? I think I want to use this other yellow that has like this sheen to it. So it's more. It's not a shimmer, but it's not a glitter either. It's a matte with with little particles in it. So I'm gonna dip into this color here and focus that in the inner corner part of our eyelid. So I'm taking another Morphe. I don't know what the numbers are, but it's another Morphe uh, What is this? Eyeshadow brush. <laughs> And all I'm doing is just merging this yellow with the with the mustard yellow. This is more of a like a yellow gold and then I'm just meshing it in with the mustard yellow. Okay, for the most part, these are the eyes, or at least with the eyeshadow done. So now we can take off our Band. As you can see, this is how sharp they make the um the eyeshadow. Now, what you could do is take a big fluffy brush, something like this, and just. Blend out the edges if you feel like it is just way too sharp for you. Which in a way for me is a little bit too sharp for me. So we're just going to blend out the edges of that. 
Okay. So now we can move on to the lashes. So let me look for some lashes that will fit this look and then out. All right, so I'm back. I put the lashes on and I think these look perfect with this look because you can still see the, you know, the eyeshadow, but the lashes are not so overpowering where they look like too natural. So the lashes that I put on, these are a new pair. Um, I just put on an old pair, but these are from AliExpress. These are the E12 from the Vizio Free brand. I think that's the name of the store on AliExpress. So I have a link down below if you guys want to check these out. I have a whole drawer full of lashes from this brand and right now the E12s are sort of like my favorite and they fit well over my little bit of eyelash extensions that I have left. I know with eyelash extensions you're not supposed to put lashes on but I literally have maybe 10 left on this side and maybe 5 left on this side. So there's no point of me trying to do a video and look cute with with my eyelash extension basically gone so i just decided to put on some lashes and yeah these are the lashes i love them they are super cute they're wispy and they are definitely good for like a mid afternoon to nighttime vibe they just fit perfectly so we're going to finish the bottom of our eyes after we do our face yeah, so let's move on to the face, you guys. So for the face, for foundation, I'm using this foundation I haven't used in a while on my channel, which is my CoverGirl Comfort Matte Foundation in the color T15, which is Golden Honey. I haven't used this in a while. And obviously, I'm going to use my Dirty Beauty Blender. Don't judge me. Let me wet this and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Beauty Blender is wet. We're gonna do a one, two pump. Alright, so that is on and I'm pretty sure this is expired because my face is feeling a little spicy. But I still have it, so whatever. Why won't this shit stay? So yeah. And as you can see on me, it's not super full coverage. It could become full coverage if you pump it up. I, as you guys saw, I did basically three pumps. I did two pumps first and then I went back with one more pump. And just really focus it on little areas that I want to cover it up. But I'm not going to go with a super glam look. Again, this is supposed to be my a soft nude, soft look, I guess. And whatever. So let's move on to concealer. So concealer. Jibia's place. I know you guys are sick and tired of, use, of me using this. But it's just... Right now, my fave. I think last time I used my Wet n Wild and Condito, but I'm just going to stick with uh, my Tried and True right now, which is the previous place, and this is in the color 16. And like I tell you guys all the time, I let my concealer sit at least for like 60 seconds, maybe two minutes, so it can get really tacky and be as full coverage as possible. So that's what I'm going to do while I finish drinking the rest of my coffee. Yes, I'm drinking coffee. Before I go out to this birthday party because I need to stay up and enjoy the festivities so yeah i'm going to let this sit for like at least two minutes and then i'll be back to blend it out all right so before i blend it out i'm actually going to spray my beauty blender with my um color pop 
setting mist just to get um, some emolliation going on with with this. <laughs> Okay, so as you see, I sort of kind of messed up right there. So I'm going to add a little bit more. I did that one little area. So that's how that was supposed to look. But I messed up because I put, I sprayed, but I didn't dab the, the thing off. So that's why it took off that area. So I'm gonna let that sit and just blend out the rest of my makeup. There we go. Much, much better. I know I look castly, but getting the US feel, give me a few minutes. So, powder wise, I don't know if I'm gonna use my black opal. I use my black opal all the time to set my face so it can match my body, but it is the Juvia's Place. So let's start with the Juvia's Place first. It is super yellow, so I suggest Putting it on your beauty blender and then dabbing it because it is super yellow. That's why I always work with a paper towel beside me because I don't want to put it on the back of my hand. So I'd like to put it here. So let's do this. I'm not usually a baker, but I'm gonna actually bake for once. And I guess you bake for like a minute or two. I'm not really sure how long you're supposed to bake, but I'm actually, I'm gonna bake. So while this is baking, I'm going to work on setting the rest of the face. So I'm just gonna take the butt of my Beauty Blender into my Maybelline Medium Deep Powder and use that to set the rest of the face. Okay, so I think I let this bake long enough. And I'm trying to be super careful because obviously I have on a white shirt and I don't want my shirt to get messed up before I leave out. So I'm just going to use this clean brush. It's, the, it's my Ray Ray brush um, in the number two. I think this is supposed to be like a powder brush or something like that. So I'm just gonna use this to wipe off the bake. And then of course when you set your face, it's going to melt in the powders. But 
Okay, so now let's contour. A contour for today, I'm going to go to my old faithful, if I can find it, my next matte bronzer and deep tan. And this is what this looks like. I'm sort of kind of hitting pan in all of my bronzers. So sooner or later, I'm going to have to start looking for a new one. So if you guys have any recommendations of bronzers that you like and you are my skin tone, then let your girl know. Alright, blush of choice today. Mm. I think I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier blush in the color Rose. It's a muted rose color, so it's not super bright. So it's good for this makeup look. So last but not least on the list of things that we need to do to finish the face is highlights. And highlight of choice today, the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2 by Juvia's Place. That what this look like is very good for people of my skin tone or deeper. And I'm going to take this brush from... Morphe, tap, 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 tap. It's very, it's very powdery, just FYI, so just be careful with it. Okay, so the face is basically done. I'm going to shield my eyes and add my matte finish setting spray from NYX. learn that from but if you spray your face or you can spray your beauty blender with your setting spray and then dab it in it sort of kind of makes your makeup last a little bit even more longer than you need it to so let's go back to the eyes so for the eyes we're going to go back into the nomad palette and i'm going to take the orange here with i just flat brush and just rub that on the lower lash line Okay, and for our waterline, I'm taking a brown instead of a black. I just feel like a brown would just probably look better with this. So this is from Kiss, and this is in the color dark brown. It's a retractable pencil. Yeah, see, that just looks a tad bit better. It's not as stark and as, you know, 
deep. Now for mascara. So I'm going to use a mascara I haven't used in a while that I said I liked. I think I said I liked it better for the top than the bottom lashes. I'm not really sure. These lashes are giving me trouble. Lift and Define 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara. I'm not sure which, which top I said I like it better for. Like the top or the bottom lashes. So I'm just going to use it for the bottom lashes. Alright guys, so we're at the tail end of this Get Ready With Me. So now we just got to work on the lips. And the products that I'm using are all from Juvia's Place. I'm using their lip liner in Cola first. Then next I'm taking the lipstick in the color Lady. And last but not least, I'm taking the lip gloss in the color Isis. Okay, FYI, I do have a video of me testing out Juvia's Place. Um, I think it was a one brand tutorial. This was before they brought out the bronzes and stuff. So if you guys wanted to see another Juvia's Place uh, testing video, then let me know. Because I do want to try out their bronzers and some of their new products they just came out with. So maybe I'll do a testing Juvia's Place part two. So I'm going to spray my face one more, one more time. <laughs> with the NYX Finishing Spray. And there you have it, you guys. This is the full makeup. I think I look freaking amazing. I do need to press out these little cramps on the side but I'm not going to do that it's just the makeup portion this time usually I do like my makeup and my hair but mm, I just want to do the makeup today as far as the outfit go obviously I'm wearing this top but I don't have the bottoms on yet so it might be in the thumbnail of the outfit that I'm wearing so you guys can see it but I'm not going to show you guys the outfit because again I don't have the full thing on I just have the top on because I don't know about anybody else, when they start getting ready, I at least put the top on. But I either am bottomless when I'm doing my uh, makeup. So that if anything falls, it's falling on my legs. Or I'm wearing like leggings or something like that. You know? So I don't have to worry about nothing getting on nothing. But anyway, you guys, this is the end of this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a Thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on your bell notification to get notified when I upload my next video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.